Let's continue with mortality, and now we're going to look at a specific measure of mortality called years of potential life lost, or it's abbreviated YPLL. And what years of potential life lost is, it's an estimate of the average amount of years a person would have lived if he or she had not died prematurely. So it's really a measure of premature mortality. And it's, it's, a, it's a different way of measuring mortality, but this one puts more emphasis on younger people who die. So in traditional mortality calculations, the 20-year-old who dies and the 80-year-old who dies are given the same uh, weight. They each count as one person who has died. But with the years of potential life lost, which may also be written like this, you're going to put more weight on the younger person who died, and so they're going to count more. So how do you do this? Well, the first thing you have to do is set uh, an upper reference age. And for the sake of this, let's just say we'll, we'll set that at 85 years. But I've seen it listed as 65 or even 75, but... Since I already wrote someone here is 80, I'm going to say 85. And let's add another guy over here. And she's unfortunately going to die at 50. This one's going to die at 20. And this one at 80. So once you picked your reference age, and it makes sense to pick uh, the life expectancy for this population, then you're going to subtract the age of death from the reference age. So we had one person dying at 80. We had one person dying at 20, and another one dying at 50. And so that's going to be 5, and then uh, 65, and uh, 35. Now let's say we had someone who died at age 92. Okay, so we had another person here, 85 uh, minus 92. And then that would be negative 7. But for the purposes of these calculations, we don't have negative numbers. So we'll just count that as 0. Because really, what are we doing? We, we want to see how much uh, above the reference age this person lived. And this one didn't live, uh, uh, lived past the reference age. So they didn't die prematurely. And so we want to calculate all these differences here and then you simply just add them up. So for this particular group of, well, we could say four people, we have 105 years of potential life lost. So you can see that if a younger person dies prematurely, their loss contributes more to this value. So this is really good at focusing on things that kill uh, young people. If you want to emphasize the things that kill younger people, you can use years of potential life lost. And you could look at all-cause mortality, meaning all deaths, or you could even look at deaths due to specific causes. And so here we are looking at the years of potential life lost, and we're looking at four different etiologies here. Well, really, three, and then one uh, bucket that looks at a bunch, uh, that looks at all the other causes. And so you can see that uh, things that are going to kill younger people you tend to be uh, have more weight. And so cancer is going to kill more people than heart disease. And so then cancer is a bigger number. So that's years of potential life lost, YPLL, as a measure of premature mortality. See you in the next video.